I suppose I could use this opportunity to call for the abolition of the monarchy or the dismantling of the House of Lords. I could speak about the need for comprehensive political reform or chat about Brexit. But I don't really want to do any of that here. Maybe you're a foreign person watching this, curious about what kind of country the United Kingdom is, or perhaps you're a fellow Brit who's soon to take issue with what follows here. What kind of land is this from the perspective of a low-income 30-something provincial twat? Well, it's a fairly tolerant and pluralistic land, truth be told. Free speech and free expression way beyond that of many countries. Freedom of worship, you bet. These things we should not take for granted. Is this a racist country? Some might try and dance around this question because it's seen as sensitive or controversial. It really shouldn't be. The answer is yes. The UK is a racist country. I think we have made progress away from the most crude and vulgar aspects of our history, but you can't whitewash the criminal nature of our former empire, our former imperialistic exploits. Yeah, you can't wash that out of the collective conscience. And still today in the 21st century, still common are overt expressions of racist or nationalistic pride. The tribalistic in-group versus out-group mentality is still alive and well. It finds new ways to express itself as older ways become less socially acceptable. Homophobia isn't as acceptable in the main as it once was, which is, as far as I'm concerned, a sign of moral improvement. Islamophobia, still in vogue. Legitimate criticism of Islam is well and good, but I get the feeling that many young men of the right-wing persuasion are not as much interested in critiquing the tenets of the religion itself as they are interested in bullying brown people who they see as being alien to their own culture. Sexism still a persistent problem here in the UK. Every day I encounter at least a couple of sexist comments, not directed at me, just general derogatory remarks about women. Misogyny is common fare, casual. It really is a form of bigotry so entrenched in our culture. And it's not just in the West, of course, it's worldwide. The UK is not different from other nations in that we have sex, race and economic hierarchies in play, interacting with each other, of course, some hierarchies being more rigid than others. Yeah. This is a divided land in terms of the haves and have-nots, one of the most unequal countries in Europe. Obviously this affects the physical and psychological makeup of the place. I sometimes think the southeast might as well be its own country. The comparative wealth of the region is so apparent. I'm talking about southeast England here. Yeah. People 
they often complain that they're overtaxed and underrepresented here in the United Kingdom. It is by no means a groundless claim. Would it be a cynical thing to say that this is a country for the rich and the rest of us just live here? Perhaps, although there is truth to it. Let's talk about more positives. If you take the country as a whole, low-level crime compared to many nations, gun violence very rare here, alcohol-related violence still fairly common. For the time being, the economy seems pretty stable, but that could always change swiftly. Yeah. We have some of the most reputable institutions of higher learning in the world, a preferred destination for rich foreigners to send their kids to university. Yeah. Other things we take for granted in our developed country. Access to clean water. Easy access to food. A decent standard of healthcare. Standards of education vary depending on where you live, as do standards of living generally. I myself live in Wales, one of the poorest areas, not just in the UK, but in Europe as a whole. Yeah. Having said that, I've lived in North Wales most of my adult life, and I get on just fine here. People are really friendly and accepting, and it's a laid-back pace of life. However, career options or the number of jobs available in certain fields is more limited here compared to more developed urban centres over the English border. So, the UK, it's not a terrible place, it's not a land of famine or war. Yeah. An inconvenient truth is, though, that we have benefited, people living here, some more than others, we have benefited from historical injustices. The rape of other lands and cultures has benefited British people. A broader recognition of this is important, I think, moving forward. I will say simply, in closing, the world is a fucked up place for many, many reasons. And when push comes to shove, it has to be said that there are far worse places to be on this planet than in Old Blighty. That is the truth. Please take the time to rate and comment, subscribe if you like, and I will see you next week, folks. Until then, take care of yourselves.